Welcome to Other Levels. Today, we're going to walk you through the Workforce Training Performance Excel Report, a powerful and beautifully designed tool to help you manage and track training activities across your organization or training center. This advanced report allows you to monitor the number of courses delivered, track trainee progress, and view detailed insights into each training session, all in a clean and interactive Excel report. Let's talk about the report features. At the top of the report, you'll find the main KPIs, which include the total number of courses, the total training hours, the average trainee score, the total number of certificates issued. These indicators provide a quick and clear overview of overall training performance. Next, we move into the detailed section, where we track individual employee performance for each course. You'll start with the employee's name and photo, then the course status, whether it's done, in progress, stuck, or not started. A dynamic completion chart visually shows how much of the course has been completed. The completion date reflects when the employee finished the course. The score achieved is also easy to enter using a drop-down menu. You can indicate if a certificate was issued, and you'll see the department the employee belongs to. The final two fields are designed for feedback and evaluation. The instructor rating, using a drop-down with 1 to 5 stars. And the instructor feedback, where comments can be added to describe the trainee's performance, participation, or engagement during the course. These inputs give management valuable insights into the trainee's development journey. This report is fully scalable. Simply copy and paste any row to add more trainees. You can expand the table endlessly while maintaining dashboard functionality. You can visit our website other-levels.com where you can download the templates and datasets used in this tutorial. All right. So let's start by explaining in general how we designed this dashboard in such a simple, clear, and visually appealing way. To begin, let's walk through the top section. The header includes the title, which is styled in bold Arial font, size 18, in white color. The background of this top bar is a nice shade of sky blue, and we used a specific hex color code for it. Next to the title, you'll see four main KPIs, the number of trainings, total training hours, average scores, and certificates issued. For example, if we look at the trainings KPI, we used a formula that counts the number of descriptions in a certain column. The reason we did it this way, instead of simply numbering the courses, is that we wanted to keep the design clean and free of extra numbers, while still having the ability to count them easily. So that's the formula we used for that. To achieve this, we used a formula that relies on the sum product function combined with len and substitute. This formula essentially counts the number of characters in each cell of our selected range. By using substitute to remove spaces and then comparing the lengths, we can determine how many words are in each cell. If the cell contains more than five words, and it's not empty, it gets counted. This way, we maintain a clean design without needing to manually number each course. Let's move on to how we calculate the total training hours. This is quite simple. We use the sum formula. By selecting the entire column that contains the duration values, the formula will automatically sum up all the numerical values, while ignoring any text. This gives us the total number of training hours effortlessly. Next, for the average scores, we use the average formula. By selecting the range of cells that contain the scores, which are in percentage format, the formula calculates the average score easily. Finally, for the number of certificates issued, we use the count if formula. This formula counts how many times the word, yes, appears in the column that indicates certification status. If the cell contains, yes, it's counted. If it's empty or has another symbol, it's not counted. This gives us the total number of certificates issued, which in our case is 18. And here we placed the other levels logo. Of course, you can easily replace it with your own company or training center's logo. Moving on to the section below that, we have the course details. The course title is styled in bold Arial font, size 22, in a lovely shade of purple, 
we provided the hex color code for that as well. For the course description, we used a smaller font size of 10 in black. We also merged the cells for both the title and the description to create a clean layout. All the other course information headings, like the duration, start date, and training mode, are styled in black Arial font, size 12. The corresponding details beneath these headings, such as the number of hours or specific dates, are displayed in bold Arial font, size 14, using the same purple color as the title. And that wraps up the course details section. Now, let's move on to the final and important section, which includes the employee details and the course status. For the table headings, we chose a dark gray font in Arial, size 12. For the data rows, we set the row height to 49, which you can adjust by going to the format menu and selecting row height. We also adjusted the width of column B to about 1.67 and filled it with the same blue color used in the top bar. The rest of the rows have a light gray background, and we added a nice touch by using thick white borders, which give the table a polished look. For the employee details, we used black Arial font, size 14. When it comes to inserting the employee's photo, we chose the place in cell option so that the image stays neatly inside the cell and is easy to manage. This is a great feature in Excel that makes working with images so much easier. In the next column, which shows the status of the course, we used a drop-down list that includes options like in progress, done, stuck, and not started. Each status is color-coded using conditional formatting, and you can always refer to our channel's tutorials to learn more about how to set that up. The font size here is also 14. For the completion percentage, we use the same blue color as in the top bar, with a font size of 14 as well. The other columns, like the completion date, score, certification status, and department, all use black Arial font in size 14. For the instructor rating, we inserted star symbols that you can easily add from the insert menu under symbols. This allows you to customize the rating system with as many stars as you like. We chose a gold color for the stars, and we've provided the hex color code for that as well. Finally, for the instructor feedback, we kept it simple with black font in size 14. And that's it. Once you've set everything up, all you need to do is copy and paste to add as many employees and courses as you want. The KPIs at the top will automatically update, saving you the effort of creating separate presentations and making your Excel report both elegant and efficient. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with others who might find it helpful. If you're interested in getting this template and practicing with the dataset, just head over to our website at other-levels.com. And stay tuned for our next video, 